Okay. Uh oh. Well, so far the trip's been, uh, hasn't been without event. We've uh, pierced, a, um, pierced a fuel tank. Um, and uh, now this. Over there's Steep Point, mainland Australia. We cross that channel over there. Flat ass. Couldn't have picked a better day.
barge, going to cross to the oil. And just about buried the camera in the sand. So far we've uh, pierced the fuel tank, done in a uh, swivel, swivel bearing on the steering, uh, ends around the camera and it almost lost its tow. Pete broke his aerial on his four wheel drive, so yeah, it's all good. Uh, day one, we're uh, we're just uh, had a bit of a late breakfast and uh, had a bit of a sleep and after a big drive up here last night. So um, we've just been ringing up all our gear for the last about half hour or so here, and uh, we're about to head off shortly. So um, I'll give you a bit of a look around the place. That's the shack. Yet another lovely day, Erickson Point. That's where I'm sleeping. Just in case we run into any Somalians. Here we are at the, uh, the aquarium. Um, we've, uh, I've just pulled in a nice boardy. Show you later. Good room. Edge just caught a shark. Oh! Edge just lost the shark. <laughs> when, uh, when there's not much fishing to do around here, and um, yeah, things are a bit quiet, you know, the weather could be uh, slightly on the downside, we've kind of got to find other alternatives pastimes to really, you know, amuse ourselves, I guess, and uh, although the fishing is extremely good up here, sometimes it's just not all about fishing. I'll show you what we do.
Aim wood. Riding cow. Oh, fantastic! It. All in one, brother. <laughs> Day two, um, we're up pretty early this morning, uh, going back to the aquarium for a morning fish. Uh, last night we had a pretty early night, so uh, we're, uh, we can get up nice and early this morning and not feel like shit. Um, it's just started raining, the clouds are coming, so um, hopefully it's not a you know, sign of things to come. And. Uh, we should get a nice few, uh, nice few fish this morning. If, uh, all comes to plan. We went out last night and caught a heap of crabs. So uh, they're um, the boardies and snapper for that matter. Um, probably tend to be their part of their main staple diet. So uh, so we've got about three quarters of. Fuck! Did anyone put them in? Yeah, someone. <laughs> three quarters of a bucket of crabs. You know, them, uh. <laughs> and this is where we're heading this morning. Back to the aquarium. With me, my partner in crime and Derek Hardog Open champion, Mr. Ian, number nine, Iron McGuinness. <laughs> yeah, well, Scotty, it's a good day for golf today, if not fishing. So, uh, yeah, we might drive a few home later on, I think. <laughs> Fish aren't biting. <laughs> Fuck as long as yeah. <laughs> How you going? We're at uh, we're at Phil's Crack. It's a place called Phil's Crack. I'll show you why it's called Phil's Crack. A bloke called Phil discovered it. And here's the crack. Big gaping hole in the rocks. It's quite deep. Now, uh, last year you would have seen Derek Hardog Island. It's a nice, peaceful, serene looking place. Well, here's the other side of it. Pretty wild looking weather. Plate this over there, we fished on that last year. Pizza plate. You can get out there when it's like that. As soon as a wave comes over, you get screwed like that. See the other boys. Makes you walk the way down there. Queenie's uh, Spangled Emperor stuff down there. Yeah, 
Bushwood. Let's go over here to the boys, see what they reckon they're going to catch tonight. Mark, what do you think you're going to catch tonight? Bloody big mulloway. How big is that big? I reckon 15 kilos plus. Right on. 15 kilo plus mulloway for you. Robert? I'd really like to catch mulloway that's about 50 grams bigger than Mark. 50 grams bigger than Mark. Now you've got a set of scales, we're going to take those with us. Peter? What are you going to catch tonight? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing for you yet, Peter. Ed? Anything like anything in the freezer. Anything in the freezer. Shark? So that's the end of the shark, man. Steve? Anything, mate. Anything? What about crabs? <laughs> Don't want to catch them. Ed? What's on the agenda for tonight, mate? Catch the goal! As you can see, we're not short of the odd reel too. That's a secret one. Fuck, well, I know some people have far too much money. <laughs> Jesus, look at this. I'm coming. Keep going, keep going. Stop. 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 Day three, we're at the aquarium. I don't know if you can see it's a bit far away, but it's hooked onto something really big. Hey Reeves, you just want to tell me if those swells are coming in, mate? Yep. It broke the surface here before, but I don't know what it is. It looks like a big shark. But sitting right, fuck, he's right there. It's a shark, is it? We're we putting the gap on.
There it is. He's get he's got it. I think he's gaffed it. Oh no. Fuck his lines getting there it is. His lines uh Oh you almost got him Pete. Yeah. That's it. Oh Pretty breezy day. The swells are up again, and uh, I've ended up getting pretty soaked as well. So it's all good. <laughs> Have a look at what we're fishing in. We're on this little ledge here, and uh, that's the edge. There's some pretty big swells coming in here, and they just chop it up on the edge of the. Uh, Clip face. But at times they actually come right over where we're standing, so. Kind of like that. <laughs> what do you reckon, fella? Lucky with the pipe behind you. As uh, we enter another night on Dirk Hard Dog Island, we pass a yet another unsuccessful day of bitter, miserable, and quite utterly poor fishing. So we will uh, endeavour to crack again tomorrow in the hope of trying to find where the fish is.